For the next step, we're going to put on the Y rails, but it's going to be easier to put the Y rails on with this gantry off of the, of the machine. We can easily do that because we haven't installed these ends yet. We can just take this gantry right off and then install it the same way. Okay, now we have it in a position where we can easily get to the screws and we'll put on the Y rails. We'll be using one and a half inch screws and cross dowels for this. Putting on the Y axis, the top Y axis first, we're going to use one inch screws and cross dowels for this. And if you're only one person, uh, we'll start on this side that doesn't have a ledge, on the other side it has a ledge, so it keeps it up for you. As we're drilling them through, make sure you leave it loose so we can still do some minor adjustments at the end. Okay. This one is done. Alright. Let's go to that back one. Right here. Get it real close. Now we're gonna attach the bottom rail using one inch screws and cross towels. And one thing I didn't mention is that this orientation does matter. Um, if you get on the wrong orientation, the, uh, the rail will, will stick out on one side slightly, so you want to make sure that you turn it around so it's centered on the, on the edge of this part of the structure. Are there any tightened? Nope. Make sure they're all loose. Now we'll make sure it's straight by looking down the, the rail and we'll tighten all of the screws once we're satisfied with the straightness. I'm going to recheck for straightness and adjust if necessary. Looks straight. Okay, now let's do the other side. Do we move it? No, we can do it from here. Let me check for straightness. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, go ahead and do it all.